Alrighty, you guys, welcome back to a brand new Big Cherry Retro React here on The Ankle. Hey, Ember. So, you guys, it's gonna be a long one. Let me tell you what. <laughs> She finally answered uh, the Asking Amber Lynn questions, and it's a three-parter, and they're all like 15 minutes. I'm so sorry, you guys. I truly, truly am. I'm hoping there's going to be some juicy tea in this, maybe, maybe. Uh, usually, when she sits down and answers questions, um, she usually shows her ass a bit. So hopefully we'll get some tea out of that. But yeah, it's going to be a real long one, guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning on in. I truly do appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe, all that. And yeah, I don't want to waste any time. So let's dive right on in. Hello, everybody. Hey, Amber. Let me turn you up, girly. Oh, welcome to my Q&A video. Oh, wonderful. This is literally 45 minutes of just her talking about herself. That's crazy. Um, I told you guys to ask me anything you want, and I will answer. So now I'm here to answer your questions. Um, I looked at some, and I gotta be honest. There's a few that I'm not really looking forward to answering, but, you know, I gotta do what I gotta do to answer. Cool. Those are the ones we're looking forward to, girl. So these questions, and I promised you I would, so I'm going to. Also, did you do this, like, same night that you went out shopping? Good lord, you just be sitting down filming all fucking day, dude. I mean, not really, but, like, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> I don't really want to rush through this. I get like two videos out on a good day. This, um, I'm not sure how many questions there are. More than 10, I'm sure. So I don't want to rush. It might go up into two parts. I guess it just depends. Oh, girl, it goes to three. Ugh. On, you know, how I'm answering. So, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. Sorry. I have to move this a little bit. We don't really have a choice, girl. A little bit. Okay. So. <laughs> Big difference. Um, the questions are over here, so that's why I'll be looking over there. And if I pronounce anybody's name wrong or anyone's screen name wrong, my apologies. And again, um, I'm coming up with these answers right off the top of my head. I did not rehearse. I don't like- I, girl, now that you said it, I wasn't thinking it, but now that you said it, <laughs> something tells me you did. I'm doing that because I feel like then I get even more confused and- this and that so here we go okay yeah you get confused from what's the truth and what you want to actually say so the first question is from glenda keaton what scares you the most and why she's already answered this honestly there's a lot of things that scare me um i'm i'm yeah there's, there's just a lot of things that scare me but um the first thing right off the top of my head is death Mm -hmm. um death frightened me i don't frightened it's like how am i gonna die um am i ew girl <laughs> why are you sitting around thinking about that am i gonna die first or my loved ones what happens after i die am i gonna well amber you're no shade girl but you're kind of fast tracking that you're gonna be the one to go before anyone else so i have a feeling maybe slightly like subliminally She's eating herself to that point because she doesn't want to see any of her other loved ones pass away. And I get that. I do. I mean, not like going about it like that, but the feeling of not wanting to experience that. Like, I get it. But like, girl, so what? You're just going to tap out before they do? Be in pain or my loved one's going to be in pain. I mean, the whole situation is just, it's agony to think about it. I literally cry thinking about it and... I don't want to think about it so it's death and um why it's just it's so unknown and it's so sad and i mean sure girl you can look at it that way i'm not gonna like say that you shouldn't but at the same time you can just i don't know there are different ways that people cope with it i can't handle death i wish there was no such thing <laughs> 
girl. I'm glad that we finally get a break after going through a life of Al. <laughs> the next question is from Mia Trims Down. What is your favorite quest bar? She also said, and what is your fave workout? So my favorite quest bar so far is the coconut cashew. I've only tried about four or five flavors. Um, She's going to collect them all though, don't you worry. There will be a time when I've tried every single one, it's gonna happen. I might not yap on like too, too much during this one guys, just because I don't want it to be like an hour and a half, two hours. <laughs> happen. Watch me. <laughs> so, but so far is definitely the coconut cashew. I really, really like that one. Um, what is your favorite workout? Um, <laughs> just sitting up. I'm honestly not too sure. It's because you're not working out. I don't like working out. I like to do things that don't really feel like I'm working out, even though I am working out, if that makes sense. So, girl, Christ, just taking a shower feels like working out for you. So, like, uh, um, like dancing, swimming, um, walking while I'm shopping, or... <laughs> walking, shopping, <laughs> dancing. You know, things like that. But if it's like a workout, like, workout, workout, um, I'd say I like to go to the gym. You should do Zumba, girl, honestly. I've said it before, Zumba is so much fun. Make fun of me all you want. I know it's very, like, Karen, <laughs> like, middle school mom shit. But, like, I think Zumba is great. And you can buy DVDs of it. It's so much fun. Right on their machines. I really do enjoy the environment that the gym gives me. Girl, no, you don't. You run around hiding in the fucking locker rooms. Um, don't get me wrong. People look at me with a stare. I am... Okay, see, so I noticed in the last video of her at the gym, people were commenting this, and I want to reiterate it because I feel like it could possibly help someone that feels the same type of insecurity. If most people, when they see a larger person in the gym, if you find that that's you, you are the larger person in the gym, just know that everyone in there Unless they're a true fucking spiteful, nasty dick. Everyone in there is just glad to see you there and hopes that, you know, you're doing what you love and you're benefiting yourself along the way. N absolutely no one worth a fucking bucket to piss in is going to be judging someone for benefiting themselves in the gym. An obese girl at a gym. It's quite the sight, I'm sure. Girl, that's what gyms are for. So, like, I don't know, dude. I don't know. She would probably think about a bigger person in the gym negatively as well. So, that's why I get picky about it with her. Is because she herself, she wants to cry fat phobia, this and that. But she's one of the most fat phobic people in her own life. But, um, honestly, I love the way the gym makes me feel. Because then why don't you go to it? As I walk in that gym and I get on the elliptical or the treadmill or the bicycle. Um, I was this the gym where you tried to do it and it said it wasn't working for you? I feel a sense of pride that I'm trying to change myself. And if I had the right transportation, I'd be going to the gym every single day. Because That's not true. <laughs> I really do love it there. So I'm just going to say anything inside the gym. So Next question is... Y'all, there's a gym right here in my apartment complex, and it's open, like, really late, so truth be told, I should take advantage of that, but it's, like, $150. You only have to pay one time, and you just get, like, an access card. I just haven't <laughs> gone to get it. I've lived here for almost two years. <laughs> Maybe I should. Maybe I should. From? Upgrade my workout a little bit, because right now I just kind of do, like, random workouts in my house. Tammy Smith, what is your favorite memory with me? Um. Oh my god, her aunt fucking again. Jesus. Tammy Smith, if you guys don't know, that is my aunt. And I have two favorite memories. I think my first favorite memory... This is so weird. ...memory is the first time I ever met you. And we were standing in your kitchen. 
and um, we just, I don't know, we were going to get our picture taken, and I remember perfectly, I went like this, and I don't have that picture, I don't know who does, but. So you met your aunt for the first time much later in life, okay. So that explains why <laughs> she's so naive to who Amberlynn is. I feel like that was the first time, like, our memories were, were captured together, you know? This sounds so weird. And another really big one for me... Also, stop pulling on your fucking hair. She's, like, tugging on it. ...is the first time when I visited you, um... It was practically like I was meeting you for the first time because I didn't remember you as a little girl. Or, I don't remember you when I was a little girl, if that makes sense. Um, we get it, girl. And when I was saying bye to you and the rest of the family, I was in tears, like literally sobbing tears. And I know... Wonder if she actually was. Like, such a sad moment. Why is that a favorite memory? Um, I think for me, because me crying showed how much i cared for you guys and <laughs> uh, of course of course she's like i was crying to show you guys how much i cared how much i liked being around you guys and visiting you guys and when i was crying it's because i knew i was leaving that i knew i was leaving a really big part of my life and um a really big part of your life girl sounds like you had only met them two times I don't know. Those are just really... So those are the two times that you have actually met this aunt? Those are... It's such a weird thing. Do you guys pronounce it aunt or aunt? I pronounce it aunt. I don't know. Just two memories that I really, um... I think about quite frequently. The first time we ever had a picture taken together and when I was saying goodbye to you guys. Um... Is that, like, the only memory you have with them? The fuck? So, the next question... Sorry, I have to scroll down. Okay, so this person asked quite a few. Oh, X, Gara, X. So, I'll just do one at a time. Do you like Weight Watcher snacks or Skinny Cow snacks better? <laughs> Clearly Weight Watchers. So, Weight Watcher snacks, I have had their ice creams. I've had their little cake thing yeah they're not that small girl you're not that dainty <laughs> that i buy and as for skinny cow for some reason i'm only thinking of those um skinny cow divines and skinny cow chocolate clusters Ooh, those are so good um but as of right now i think i'm gonna stick with the weight watchers because they have a really big variety of ice creams that i really really like so i'm gonna say weight watchers incredible X Gara X also asked, do you think you would ever play Just Dance for fun instead of thinking of it as a workout? <laughs> she can't, dude. She can't. Like, anything that this girl does, she thinks of it as a workout because that's how tired and immobile she essentially was even back then at 23. So as you guys know, I just recently bought Just Dance and I got it for a workout. And, um... As I'm doing the workout, I'm sure, see, I called it a workout. I meant to say as I'm playing the game, I'm sure I will think of it as a workout. But um, I'd honestly try my hardest not to. I mean, if you're asking if I'll ever- Girl, please. Please. It, it's always going to seem like a workout to her. Yeah, you asked if I'd ever play for fun. Yes, I'd play for fun, but in the back of my mind, I'd be thinking of how I'm burning calories, and that's a positive thing, right? Next. I mean, yes, but your mind also links it to working out, which you don't like to do, so. Question they asked is, do you miss DDR? DDR is Dance Dance re re <gasps> Why can't I talk? Dance Dance Resolution. I used to fuck that shit up. That was my jam growing up. Fucking loved Dance Dance Revolution. Which is a dancing game with pads on the floor. I got that from um, Christmas about two Christmases ago. And damn, so your very first Christmas there and they got you Dance Dance Revolution? Jesus Christ. Um, I like it a lot. I got really good at one point. 
but I haven't played in so long and I and I really do miss it yes I do do we think that she was actually moving that quickly to be able to do it I don't know uh, they also asked what are three things you would want to do for you and your girlfriend's next anniversary so for me and my girlfriend's next anniversary it'll be our three year anniversary which will be in October October 14th and I love going to hotels with her and just kind of enjoying ourselves. Um, <clears throat> Weird. Not really thinking about life and just kind of relaxing. And when the fuck do you, dude? What the fuck are you talking about? You literally have nothing going for you. So what do you mean just having to deal with life? You don't do anything. Any time together. I feel like that'd be... The my first choice and um all on crystal's parents dime i'm sure or crystal's disability check or we could go to a dinner go shopping um, the dinner is inevitable girl if you're going to leave the house you're going to go get food um you know things like that so i think those things would be fun of course uh they also ask diet soda or flavored water it honestly depends on the diet soda and the flavor of water, so... Okay, no shit, Sherlock. Fucking A. <laughs> if you would have given me an exact flavor, then I would be able to answer, so... Girl, oh my god. <laughs> honestly, it just depends on the flavor. That was such a stupid-ass answer. So, next is from So Live It Up. They said, let's think, I might go deep here. So when did you realize that you wanted to make a lifestyle change? How have people reacted to it? You might have changed, but have they? Yep, that's it. Plus, do you have any embarrassing moments that made you realize enough is enough? What's your calorie elements? Like for me, I have a target for each meal. I try to leave a lot for dinner, but sometimes end up having extra at lunch. Um breakfast for me is light thank you so much for your questions by the way very in depth um so first question is when did you realize that you wanted to make a lifestyle change um girl you've been trying to lose weight your entire life um, since i was about 11 years old i that's wild was actually told i mean to be fair even from a young age, I was thinking about, like, dieting and whatnot, too. It doesn't lead to, like, healthy outcomes, I would say. But, damn, girly. Damn. I mean, I also wasn't a 300-pound 11-year-old. So, big difference. That I need to, you know, lose weight and go on a diet and this and that. Then, I didn't really understand. I didn't understand what was wrong with me. You know, I didn't look at people and be like, oh, you're fat and you're skinny. So, I didn't understand. And Bullshit, girl. Bullshit. You are so judgmental. And it didn't last but, what, three weeks. Ever since then, I went on, you know, little um, diets and did Weight Watchers and just things for myself, but I never fully committed to it. It never lasted more than a month. Maybe if it had been a few years, you know, on the right path, I would hear this out from her, but she hasn't even been doing good for a week. But when I'm Especially now that we know she's definitely binging off a camera even as early as this. Moved here with my girlfriend. Um, she was also wanting to lose- Well, you didn't move there with her. You moved there to her. There's a difference. Wait, and um, we were in such a good place that we felt like, you know, it's time. <sighs> so having her by my side, um, she made me realize that I can do this. I have her right by my side. She has me right by her side. I don't know, dude. It must have come to, like, some type of boiling point. And this was about two and a half years ago. And, you know, finally I just realized I can do this. And I did. I lost 89 pounds. And um, ever since then, every, every single time I put something in my mouth, I'm thinking about my weight. Whether That's not healthy either, girl. I'm messing up or whether I'm not. I'm still thinking about my weight. And it's just, it's mind-boggling to me that 
back in the day, I would eat so much food and I- You still do, girl. Wouldn't think anything of it. <laughs> you still don't. Now, the minute I, I overstep my boundaries into, you know, going over my calories or anything like that, the only thing I can think about is my weight. Um, you could say that's a good thing, you could say that's a bad thing. That's a bad thing. <laughs> I'll say it, that's a bad thing. Um, in a way, it's good and bad because I'm so focused on my weight, which is good and bad, but sometimes it can mess with my self-esteem. But um, right now, the point I'm at right now, I'm very happy with the things are going. And I know I can do this and it feels amazing. And as of right now, I feel like it's a good thing that every time I take a bite of something, I'm thinking on my weight. Yeah, of course you do, girl. Of course you do. Because that means I'm thinking on my health and that's important. Also, important. So you ask, how have people reacted to- Eye roll. Do it. You might have changed, but have they? Okay, um, it depends on who you're talking about. Um, regarding my girlfriend's parents. Oh, T. You shouldn't really be talking about them, but sure. Um, you know, they're, they're proud of me and they're, they're trying to cook healthier as well. And they're losing weight in their own ways and stuff like that. Why does everyone around you need to be doing the same thing you are, girl? Um, as for, you know, people from my past, because I don't live near anybody I used to know. I moved across the country two and a half years ago. Um, yeah, that says something, doesn't it? Um, people from my past, they're, they're happy, they're shocked, they're proud. You know, everyone has different reactions, mm. and no. Shocked where, dude? You're not some skinny little thing now, okay? You have literally not lost any weight. So, <laughs> what the fuck? Do you think she just posts like all of her little weight updates onto Facebook or some shit? Like, guys, I'm down 0. 0.2 pounds today. None of them has changed. Um, I think besides my aunt, because I think when I first started this weight loss journey, she saw how much weight I was losing. And um, she told me it motivated her to do it herself and to lose weight herself. And she's doing fantastic. And I'm proud that I was able to motivate her into doing that. It makes me very, very happy. Of course it does. Um, tickles your ego. Plus, do you have an embarrassing moment that made you realize enough is enough? There was actually this one time I went to Disneyland and I got on a ride and um, I got stuck on the ride. I couldn't get out because I was so big. It was very, very humiliating. The line was held up for a very long time. Um, Girl, how old were you when that happened? I can't even ride on rides really because I don't fit. Um, oh, but I thought you could. I thought you could. Oh, okay. Okay, Miss Girly Pop, who can go to Disneyland, no issue. Sure. Several times where I went to get on a ride and I couldn't fit, so I had to leave. Um, and you know what? That is very fucking embarrassing. It is. It is. I have never been booted from a ride, but one time they had to undo the seatbelt thing so I could switch seats with my uh, cousin that I was with because the side that she had sat on had longer uh, seatbelts on it. So that that was a bear embarrassing enough for me. I didn't need to <laughs> have to go through that walk of shame leaving the platform. That would that's just such a soul crushing feeling. Um fitting in booths is hard and i can name so many things honestly but i feel like especially that one time at disneyland i was absolutely humiliated i not how you pronounce that word honestly don't even have words for it so i'm gonna have to make this answer really quick because we're gonna go to a part two um my calorie limit um my fitness pal wants me to eat 2400 calories but i've tried that and i actually gained weight eating that much crazy right not crazy dude you don't fucking do jack shit all damn day so um i'm actually currently trying to eat 1450 and i do not count fruits and vegetables so by the end of the night i eat about 1700 calories so for my weight that is good is it because you're still not losing you said that you keep your breakfast light so do i <laughs> I, I try to save up for um, my dinner time and my snack time because that's when I'm the most hungry. 
lately, guys, I've just been doing breakfast and then, like, a light dinner. I don't know. <laughs> like a Dunkin' coffee. That's my breakfast. So I hope I answered your guys' questions really good in this part one. There will be a part two, so please, please, please follow me along to the next video. Good lord. Hello, everybody. Hey, Amber. <laughs> part two, guys. Let's do this. Welcome to the second part of my Q&A video. Thank you so much for watching my first one and now my second one. So the next question <laughs> is from Brian. Girl, you are just sitting down. Why are you so out of breath? Brian Billups. Like Ew. I said, I will answer any question you guys ask, but I wasn't expecting this. He asked, do you and your girlfriend ever masturbate together? Girl, why couldn't we have some class and avoid these types of questions? Um, so obviously me and my girlfriend are in a relationship, so we do things that people in committed, long-lasting relationships do. So, I'm pretty sure that answered your question. <laughs> no, girl, not really, because everyone knows, everybody knows, that she doesn't fuck you. <laughs> do y'all get the reference? Okay, he also asked, do you ever or still fantasize about having sex with a man? Ew. A fucking creepy ass straight man, dude. No, I do not. I am a lesbian. Well, I mean, you certainly reminisce about it sometimes, so. I do not like males like that at all. So no, I do not. Um, okay. Guppy Cardwell. Oh, not this fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she says whoa to some of these questions just whoa but you did say okay now on to mine she asked quite a few oh my god so here we go if two little unicorns came up to you and said hey amberlynn look this is so fucking stupid let's go to candy mountain whoa <laughs> would you go okay if this was like real life does she even understand like what the reference is here do y'all know the reference of uh, the Candy Mountain, Charlie? <laughs> and that happened. I legit think I was going psycho. I'd probably check myself into a mental hospital. No, I would not go. <laughs> Girl, you should do that. <laughs> um, okay. She also, she also, I can't talk. If Never could. You could meet any one character from Walking Dead. Who and why and what would you do with them? Assuming you get to hang out with them too. Ooh, God, that's hard. See, this is why I should read every single question before doing this. The first one I thought of is Herschel. Herschel is no longer on the show. That was the old man. Very sad to see. I feel like Herschel because I really like old people. I do. I love old people. They're just so. I don't know, girl. The way that you talked to those people uh, that you worked with in the elderly center or whatever the fuck with Destiny, that what did wasn't giving um, I like old people energy. I don't know. Something about them just makes me smile. And I, I just love to kind of like talk to him about his experience on the show and, you know, if it was his choice to end the show or if it was like literally part of the storyline to get killed off i'd love to just talk to him girl why don't you read the comic huh you love comics so much because there's not a lot of words in them so why don't you go and read the comics that tells you everything that happens amazing um she asked do you drink coffee i don't drink coffee i used to drink coffee um only because that was the only drink of choice when i was living with my grandma in oklahoma the only drink she had was coffee. So I started drinking coffee. Um, what? I never did drink coffee. Could just drink water. Until then. So I was drinking about four cups a day and it really, really messed with my health. Um, I actually got acid reflux from it 
and it gave me really 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 bad anxiety because of how much caffeine was in the coffee my body just was not used to it so i do not drink coffee um if i go to starbucks i i rarely get a coffee drink but i mean if I, if i do get one it's probably like three times a year so no i don't well girl you get the fucking frat base so it's basically just a milkshake <laughs> coffee she also asked what would be your dream job if you had no restrictions and money didn't matter and you loved it <sighs> that's my thinking face <laughs> like looking up at my ceiling is gonna help me it's not like i want to be a ceiling constructor or whatever editing jordan here i find it very interesting that she says that so now we know whenever she looks up she's thinking what the fuck <laughs> okay that was weird it was stupid honestly i have no clue you know a really 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 big part of me um sees you know certain people make a career out of youtube you have to be like youtube famous which i find ridiculous i don't want to be youtube famous oh really <laughs> You were definitely real fucking giddy once it happened. And you were never really YouTube famous, to be honest. You're YouTube infamous. At all. It's never going to happen. I'm here for, you know, this. But there's a lot of people who, you know, get paid from it. And I think that if you mix what you love to do and make it into, you know, like a job, I think that shows that you don't have to work a day in your life because you're doing something you love okay girl what a butchering of that statement <laughs> like what the fuck but if youtube wasn't like an option or whatever i think maybe um doing something regarding why are you giving anyone uh fucking employment advice dude like you literally have never had a job writing or um I don't know, something maybe with writing, because I love to write. I am really good at it, so. Mm, I wouldn't say that. Something along them lines. <laughs> I love to write. I'm really good at it. Um, would you become a Jedi or go to the dark side? Definitely the dark side. What's a Jedi? Oh, of course, she doesn't have any idea. And what's the dark side? awkward moment exterminate how you gonna live to 23 years old and not get just a simple star wars reference eight huh i think i think she lost me here with these questions <laughs> all right she said are you still jealous of my sword i'm like so jealous you don't even know so I'm gonna, like, find out your address and go steal it. You're fucking creepy. Oh, you better watch out. Because when you hear something thumping, that means I'm walking up in here. <laughs> oh, it's more than thumping when you hear, feel the whole house shaking. Wherever your sword is, and I'm taking it from you. Just saying. Okay. You're such a weirdo. Would you steal my sword? Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't see that question. Bullshit, dude. You had to fucking type them all up into this Word document, or copy and paste at least. You fucking knew that it was there. Oh my god, what a cornball. I think I just answered that, didn't I? Oh, that was too funny. What shampoo and... Girl, oh my god. No wonder everyone thinks she's so fucking fake. Conditioner do you use? Um, I'm currently using Suave because I'm a cheapo like that. Girl, there's... N oh my god. I mean, I don't know, Suave might be on that list of ones that you should avoid, but just because it's cheaper does not make it bad. Um, I used to use things that literally cost like $12 per bottle, but I'm, I'm trying to save- Oh, that's, a, that's what's expensive for you. Okay, girl. <laughs> money, so, you know, the money I save, you know, me and my girlfriend can go do stuff together. So I'm currently using Suave, just being cheap. You know how it is. You're, it's not being, whatever. She's like low-key, low-key so classist. <laughs> Have you ever TP'd a house or other thing? No. 
She doesn't have the ability to do that or the friends. Actually, no, I have not. But when I go steal your sword, you better watch out, okay? You're still such a fucking creep, dude. <laughs> Where have all the cowboys gone? What's with all the O's? Joking. Um, where have all the cowboys gone? This is so stupid, dude. Oh my god. To the mountains? Is this a joke I don't know about? I, I have no idea. Would you like some tea and crumpets? I don't like tea that much, but if you make it tasty, then I'll I'll drink it. And as for crumpets, I don't... So you don't like tea? Then what was all that in the beginning, huh? When you would make Crystal make your tea for you. In fact, we haven't seen her have a tea in a while. So once again, just another quick little phase for our girly. I don't know what a crumpet is. Your questions make me feel stupid. I don't know what any of this means or is. Well, you are, so... That answers that, girl. Oh, what's life? What's life? Have you ever dressed up as a zombie? No, but I was going to go to um, this zombie parade. Like, I don't even know what it was, but everyone dressed up as a zombie and you walked in the parade, but I didn't get to go. This was actually a few years ago. <sighs> so sad. But that'd be kind of cool to be dressed up as a zombie. Like, didn't get to go, girl? Okay. Walking dead type of dressed up? Whoa. You probably didn't want to go. Nelly, that would be cool. <laughs> so she said, okay, wow, my questions are getting blah. I gotta stop. Hope that satisfies you. I'll come back and spam some more if I think of more things, lol. Thank you so much, Guppy Cardwell. I enjoyed your questions, even if some of them I had no idea what you're talking about. But that's okay. I could be kind of... Dumb. I don't even know the word for it. See, told you I could be kind of... Anyhow, next questions are from Danielle Stevens. She asked a few, so, do you want kids? No, I do not. I used to want kids, but- um, That changed real quickly once she was no longer with Crystal. Um, I just, I, no, I think I'm gonna stick with animals. I'm gonna make animals my kids, okay? I know that sounds weird to some people, but <sighs> just bear with me. Girl. You're just so unique. What's your favorite healthy snack? <sighs> well, my definition of healthy to some people isn't healthy, so I'll try to be, you know, as healthy as possible here. Um, I want to say some type of pita bread or um, a bagel chip type thing with hummus. Um, or maybe some cooked carrots. Or she can only think of what <laughs> she's been doing like directly that week. She has absolutely no like overall personality style. It goes by the month. Cooked veggies, I mean, you can have those as a snack, right? <laughs> I love cooked veggies. Where do you see yourself in five years? Oh Lord. That's actually really hard. Um, I honestly don't know. Because if you would have asked me that question five years ago, I was 18 and I was living in California. I would have never said in Virginia, in love, losing lots and lots of weight. <laughs> well, I mean, two out of three of those things didn't happen. Having a YouTube channel, you know, <laughs> you... When you say five years, you don't think of it as this long old time, but it is. And so much has changed in between, you know, the last five years that I have no idea where I'll be. But more than anything, I know I'm going to be right where I need to be right here with Crystal. <laughs> Girl, you definitely weren't. <laughs> She also asks, is there one certain food that you can't just have a little? A food that you tend to eat until it's gone. LOL. I have one. That's why I'm asking. Honey child. Ew, Jesus. Um, honey child. Pretty much any food on this earth, I can't just have one. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I'm going to give you an example. McDonald's chicken nuggets. I don't know. Some people say it's not even chicken. Some people say it's the bad part of the chicken. Some people say whatever they want to say about mcdonald's but oh, delicious don't even put those in my face i will eat a hundred of them girl 
not even kidding just not even kidding have and look at where you are have you ever tried leslie sandstone walking videos if so did you like them yes i have i um have tried the one mile one quite a few times and i really do enjoy it it's a fantastic workout so if, if you want to know if you should do it or not i definitely think you should she did it one time and she's giving you her full endorsement of course so um next questions you guys this might actually go into three parts because i got qu uh. quite a few questions Next questions are from Chloe Allen. She said, I have two. What part of California are you from and do you prefer the East Coast? She definitely doesn't. Aside from that, where the love of your life is. And two, how long did it take after moving in with Crystal's family for you to feel 100% comfortable and at home? So what part of California was I from? I was about 35 minutes away from San Francisco in a town called Petaluma. And do you I thought she said she was from somewhere else. For the East Coast. No. Not at all. Okay, slight shade. If Crystal wasn't here, I wouldn't be here. If Crystal wasn't here, I'd completely hate Virginia. Hate. With capital H-A-T-E. Do not like it. Girl, you just, you never love the place that your girlfriends live in. But, like, you have absolutely no resources of your own to be able to actually live somewhere you want to live you always have to just go and shack up with them i i i don't like the weather i i just don't i can't do i just don't like it and they don't have mountains they don't have mountains how do you not have mountains okay bro what the fuck are you talking about i miss california i miss california that's all I'm gonna say. I just miss it there. But I'm here for my girlfriend, okay? <laughs> um. Yeah, you're saying it as if like you're being supportive, not as if like you would have been fucking homeless without her, okay? How long did it take after moving in with Crystal's family for you to feel 100% comfortable and at home? So when I first moved here, I was like a ball of shy goo. Like I didn't even talk, like legit, I didn't even talk. I was so shy, um, I barely ate. <laughs> Don't like that. I remember our first, my first meal here. Um, I actually came here pretty late at night, so we got Popeyes. You wanna hear what I ate? Do you really wanna hear this? No. Like the skin off of a piece of chicken, that's it. And I have I didn't eat for like 24 hours, and then that's all I ate. And then you could probably afford the to do morning, that. The next morning, her mom made like this nice breakfast, and I had like a sausage and like a bite of hash brown. I was shy, <laughs> so shy when I first came here. But um, I quickly changed. I don't know. Things you know started rolling, and I started you know talking more, and you know eating more <laughs> uh, clearly um i feel at, at home and more comfortable more so every day and i feel like um about mm, five months ago i started feeling the most you know at home and comfortable like this is like my home and i can help with you know chores and Girl, you should have been doing that from the very get-go. Why did it take you having to feel comfortable to actually start helping? Make this room my own and, you know, stuff like that. So, it took long enough, but Just I'm kind of there. But I could still before. be, you know, a little more comfortable because it's not fully, you know, my home. It's it's not. I mean, it's it's weird to say. I mean, home is where the heart is and my heart is with Crystal. So, wherever she's at, you know, it's my home. But yeah. Corny ass bitch. <laughs> so, I am going to have to make this into three parts. I cannot believe this is happening. But if you guys watch all three parts, I will be so shocked that you guys want to yeah, same. hear about me that much and my rambling and everything else. <sighs> okay, so again, this is part two. I will see you at part three. Oh my god, uh...
Hello, everybody. Hey, Amber. Guys, let's just get this over. Oh, this one's only like 11 minutes. Okay, that's a little bit better. <laughs> Welcome to part three of my Q&A video for February. I cannot believe this is in three parts. But you guys You're going to be doing these monthly? What the fuck? Ask me so many questions. Okay, so I'm not going to try to... I'm not... This one can't be that long, okay? So I'm, I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time. And I'm probably already boring you and this and that. So Girl, it's already been like 40 minutes. This one is from Declan Mantle. Okay. I probably pronounced that wrong. And if I did, I'm sorry. He said, this is amazing timing, lol. I've just been asking everyone, like literally everyone, what's their favorite song at the moment? So I will ask you, what's your favorite song at the moment? And also, what is your favorite artist? So I'm gonna answer artist first. My favorite artist or celebrity in general is Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus has been my favorite celebrity since she was a young teeny bopper in um, Hannah Montana. Creepy. I love what she has grown into. I don't care what Creepy. anybody says. She is being herself. And I don't think people should hate on people for being themselves. Unless they're like murderers or rapists or... Well, allegedly, Amberlynn, you are one of those things. So... Molesters, because then that's just wrong. But um, Miley isn't hurting anybody. Um, she's being herself. And I love herself. I really do. I like her a lot. And... I love her acting, her singing, and all that jazz. So I'm gonna say Miley Cyrus. Okay. As for my favorite song, um, that's terribly hard because I listen to a lot of music and it's a very big range of music. Um, I honestly don't know if I have a favorite song right now. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say Rooting For My Baby by Miley Cyrus. And no, I'm not just being biased. I really, really do love that song. Um, well, girl, obviously you would enjoy the music of your favorite artist or whatever. Like, oh my god, that's so annoying. I'm so annoyed. <laughs> um, next is from Adrian Nagel. What made you decide to start vlogging and what do the people around you think of it? I.e., when you're out to dinner vlogging, do they think it's a little strange or are they pretty okay with you running around with the video camera running most of the time? Okay. So what made you decide to start vlogging? Um, I love watching needed attention YouTube videos. I love the thought of it. It's fun. I enjoy it. It's therapeutic. It's something for me to do. It's a really big hobby and I just love, you know, how you guys love watching my videos and, you know, I just me, 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 really enjoy it. Um, and what do the people around you think of it? Probably fucking annoyed. My girlfriend is very used to it. She's always by me. Um, she she says she actually loves it and she loves watching my videos. So yeah, okay. I'm happy about that. Um, other people that are around me are my girlfriend's parents. I try not to vlog around them as much because I'm actually quite shy when it comes to that. Um, I don't talk to the camera in front of them, but I do in front of my girlfriend. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> but from what they know of it, they don't really say anything. I don't, I don't think they care and I don't think they, they understand what vlogging is because I don't think they've watched my videos. Girl, what? <laughs> when you're out to dinner vlogging, do they think it's a little strange or are they pretty okay with you running around with a video camera? Okay, I don't have a video camera at all. I use my cell phone. So it doesn't look a little, I think it looks a little better that it's a cell phone instead of a video camera. So, um. I don't know, girl, it's still weird. If I'm like walking in the store and I'm videotaping myself, I don't think I've ever had any stares. I don't think people really- Oh, no, you definitely have. Notice, to be honest. And um, when I'm out to dinner. So they notice her when she's just existing as a big girl but they don't notice her when she's existing as a big girl filming herself okay makes sense amber no they don't find it strange because you know crystal's mom's taking picture of her food to instagram and stuff like that so i don't think anyone finds it strange at all so i'm very grateful for that next question 
they probably find it strange how this is the only thing that you do with your days. Questions are from Tammy Smith. If you could- oh, Your aunt again. Wake up tomorrow and have a realistic, perfect life with Crystal. What would it be like? What type of home would you have? Where would your home be location? Why there? What kind of jobs would you both have? What kind of- Oh my God, Tammy. Come on, bitch. <laughs> what car would you guys drive? Be as descriptive as you can, please. Okay. I'll answer her little questions first and then say whatever else I need to say. So what type of home would you have? Um, Pre-colonial. <laughs> I feel like a realistic, perfect life. So realistic. This isn't like me dreaming. I have to be realistic, you guys. So here we go. Trailer park. I want a condo type of thing. Um... Well, I mean, that's kind of what you got now. I wanted in a, you know, a very friendly neighborhood. Um, so that would, that would be the type of home. I, I'm not, I'm not all for the whole big house. I mean, if I did get a big house, all right. Well, big house means lots of walking and big stairs, which Amberlynn isn't going to do. <laughs> Unless she could be mega rich and have an elevator in her own home. It's cool too, but... I kind of like, you know, medium-sized condos. They're very, very cute on the inside. They're very clean. Honestly, even the apartment that I have now feels a little too big for me. Like, just one person, it's a little much. For the most part, and they never look all raggedy from what I've seen. What? Where would your home be? Realistically, I feel like... Kentucky. I'll be in Virginia for a very, very long time. Um, if I was on the dreaming side a little bit, me and my girlfriend would definitely move to California or Oregon. I like Oregon. I like the weather. <laughs> yeah, cold. So she just wants to fully get Crystal away and move back so she can have her old life. Um, I wonder, do you think she ever proposed the idea that Crystal and her parents and the entire family just moved to the West Coast? Hi there, California, because I miss it. I know my girlfriend would like it there. I know, I know, I'm like 100% sure she would. Um, Crystal seems like she would like it anywheres, dude. Or Oregon, because um, I love the weather. Me and my dad dreamed of um, living there one time, and I feel like, you know, carrying on that dream for him. But um, realistically, why Virginia? Probably because we're not going to have enough money to move across the country, okay? You notice how any place where she's wanted to move, like she could have moved to Oregon if she wanted to with this last big move that she did. She could have gone somewhere that she actually wanted to be in, but she always has to think about having a caretaker there and having someone to rely on. So she's never been able to live really where she wants to. It's always gotta be on someone else's time. <laughs> and it's more expensive over there. I'm like 100% sure. Um, what kind of jobs would you both have? Either something with YouTube or writing, something, um... How are you going to get a job related to writing if you are not pursuing it in any shape or form, girl? Like, be so fucking realistic. She was fully banking on YouTube being her full-time job. Or and for years, she never made a cent I off still it. have time to be myself. I don't want to be the type of person who... It's on the go, run, 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 all the time. I don't- Well, that's what you became during the Destiny era. I don't want my job to be a job. I want my job to be a career that I love so much that I don't think of it as working. That's what I want. Okay, girl. whoop do fucking do Do you know how- Like, it's such a harsh reality for her when she comes to the realization that most people in life don't have that. Sorry, a job is a job, Amberlynn. But realistically, I'm probably gonna be one of them people working and whining about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, you still do, even though you have this dream job of yours, apparently. Um, I want Crystal to do whatever makes her happy, but I also want her to be doing something that where she isn't on the run all the time. I want to be able to have an amazing amount of time with her. I don't, I don't want to ever miss her if that makes sense i i don't i love her so much and i like being around her girl that is so unhealthy 
Um, I don't mean I want to be glued to her hip 24-7. No, it, do it sounds like you do. Even though I wouldn't care. But you want to have eyes on her at all times. I, I just don't want anything that will um, take time away from me being me and with my girlfriend. That's me being realistic. You said realistic. That's not realistic at all. Perfect life. So that'd be it. <laughs> um, what kind of car would you guys drive? Realistic perfect. See, when you say realistic perfect, uh, my mind does not go realistic. So if I wasn't going realistic, I would definitely have, um, it's like those square cars, a Sion, a Skion. I don't know what it's called. What, the Kia Soul? Oh, but they're so cute. But realistic perfect. I'd say any car that is decent looking and that drives perfect. I really wouldn't care what it looked like as long as it was kind of cute, like I said. <laughs> so you would care. <laughs> Jesus, this is so dumb. Can this video be over with? And you also said be as descriptive as you can, please. So another little tidbit of stuff. Um, if I had a tidbit. perfect life, my parents would be sober. If I had a perfect... Ugh. We just gotta play the violin while we're at it. Life, um, my parents would be in my life. If I had a perfect life, my brother would be sober and in my life. If I had a perfect life, um, I wouldn't be obese. If my life was realistically perfect, I would make it as happy as possible. Doesn't that kind of show just how, like, in her mind, she views being overweight as such a negative thing and i mean to some extent yeah it is when you're amber's like size you know as happy as possible but you know just had to add that <laughs> so that's me being as descriptive as i can be for that so i have five more questions thank you guys for sticking along and listening this is from organ jossie have you ever collected stickers that are on fruits no <laughs> You can press a button that will make any one person explode. Would you press the button? No, that's so sad. If I press the button, someone explodes? Ask her nowadays. Girl, if you could press this button and Beck will explode, would you? Oh, she would in a half a second. No, I would not press that button. Um, what's the most embarrassing thing that you have done in public? So again... That whole Disneyland thing, if you guys haven't watched my other parts of this video, one time I was at Disneyland. And Are we really going to fucking go over this again? Oh my god. I got stuck in the ride for being too big. That was probably one of the most embarrassing times in my life. Have you ever tipped a cow? <laughs> Yourself? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. That was funny. We're pushing an hour, guys. Like, mentally, I'm... I'm losing it. <laughs> Are you talking about cow tipping? No, I have never done that. When I was younger, I wanted to, but now that I'm older, I love cows too much. I love animals too much. I mean, I've always loved animals, but now I have a brain and I use it. So I've you you love cows so much, but you eat them. Okay. I'd never tip a cow because would he be able to get back up? Would I hurt his leg? I'd be so sad. I wouldn't be able to do that. Last question everybody the grand finale okay that was horrible what do you think victoria's secret is she's a man <laughs> like Alyssa's secret so victoria's secret is lemons what girl not even related that was so stupid Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm joking. I don't know Victoria's Secret. I wish I knew, because then maybe I can have some of that secret too and become some billionaire or make it Amber Lynn's secret. See, that's- <laughs> God damn. Jesus Christ. I hate AR. <laughs> that's good, right? Right? <laughs> Mom, can you pick me up? I don't feel safe. <laughs> All right, you guys, so many questions. I cannot believe you guys asked me this many questions. I'm literally in shock, but thank you guys so much. Um, I don't know, dude, you only put out two fucking reminders to go and do it. 
I love eye roll. The questions, even the. F I should definitely have eye roll merch, right, guys? Like the little asterisks, you know, and just have eye roll. Like make it very simple, very minimalistic. <laughs> Like Amberlynn Reed core with her merch that she did. <laughs> but I feel like that would be cute. Like a sweater or shirt that just says eye roll. You that I didn't really want to answer, but I still did. So, um, thank you guys so much. And there will be another Q&A video in March. So if you're seeing this and you have a question to ask, just wait until then and I'll definitely answer it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you aren't smiling, smile. Bye. Gross. Alrighty guys, wow, <laughs> look at that, a long one. Uh, well, I do appreciate it if you stuck around. I truly, truly do, thank you so much. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Like and subscribe, become a channel member. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.